When were you a leader? Let me know what year did you lead your team? You can't say the first year you got the Suns because that was that was Kevin Johnson's team. You were just a higher gun. It wasn't when you went to Houston. When you was in when you was in Philly the first year, y'all was successful. That was Dr. J and Moses. Wasn't you? Yeah. Right? They was calling you fat boy. You had to get in shape to be on that team. Because I don't give a damn how many championships you won. You're not finna punch me to get me to do my job. Now my job, I got a different job. My job was to block and catch pass, and now my job is to whip your ass. Yeah. <laughs> then I got a new job. So I got three jobs now. Now I got to work overtime. Gilbert Arenas goes off on Charles Barkley for dissing Kevin Durant and the Suns. I want you to check out exactly what Shannon Sharp and Gil had to say, and then I'll come back with my comments. Charles Barkley calls out the Suns for being weak and soft. And it seems to be, it seems to be a reoccurring theme. On teams that's Kevin Durant's own, we saw this in Brooklyn, not so much. Look, it was ready. Uh, we know Golden State, Draymond, Steph, Clay, so forth and so on. I don't remember hearing anything about leadership when Kevin Durant was uh, in OKC. Now, probably Russ was the leader of the team, and KD was perfectly fine with that. KD won a hoop. KD ain't trying to give no 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 pregame speeches, no mid-game speeches, no, no post-game speeches. Kevin Durant come, get his work in, go do what he does. But why does everybody seem like what what, what do, from, an, from a guy that played in the league outside looking in? Maybe you know some things. But what do you think is going on with 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 Phoenix? Because they should be better. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if they ain't got no great elite defenders. They should be better than what they are. I mean, no, we, we can say that. But you know, they haven't been healthy all year long, right? They traded. They traded a lot of their team to get Bill, and Bill missed a lot of this season. Yeah, they trade a lot of that team to get KD too. So, you know, when you're missing one, you're missing a guy who got rid of three or four people, you're not going to be as good as you're supposed to be. I don't like the idea of attacking someone's leadership. How do you know who's leading or not? How you don't know, you don't know what's being said in the locker room. You don't know what is being said in practice. You don't know what because someone doesn't have emotions when you want them to. Having motion is not necessarily a leader. If Draymond Green wasn't there, would we be saying Steph is not a leader because he don't talk, right? Denver, is Jokic a leader? He don't talk. He don't do pregame speeches. He don't do none of that. Right? <laughs> Hell no. Um, Jimmy Butler don't talk. He don't say much, right? So why are we always challenging someone's leadership because they're losing game or, or doesn't look as good as it's supposed to look? Basketball is basketball. Everyone leads in different ways, right? right? I challenge him. Who was, you, who was, who was, when were you a leader? Let me know what year did you lead your team? You can't say the first year you got the Suns because that was, that was Kevin Johnson's team. You were just a higher gun. It wasn't when you went to Houston, when you was in, when you was in Philly the first year y'all was successful. That was Dr. J and Moses. Wasn't yeah. you, right? They was calling you fat boy. You had to get in shape to be on that team. So, we can, we can, from the outside, we can always challenge somebody's leadership when they're, mm -hmm. when you, we think they're failing, right? When we think they're failing. So we don't know who's, a, uh, are they working hard? Although has anybody said they don't, they don't come to the gym and work out and work and work on their craft? No. Have we talked about, man, this has been a bad year for Kevin Durant? No, no, we have not. Mm -hmm. He has showed up every single year. Devin Booker has showed up every single year. They've done their part. If somebody's getting hurt or they're getting hurt, we can't we can't blame leadership on that. They got hurt. But for the most part, when those boys are on that court, they plan it off. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I mean, people lead in different ways. I think the thing is, is that you have to understand the team that you're trying to lead mm -hmm. or, or you've been entrusted to lead because you can't lead every guy. And it's a lot different than a, a football team because you got so many more different guys, so many different, so many more people. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you got guys, you know, tight ends go to one room and running backs go to one room and the wide receivers go to one room and you got DB, the linebacker, the O-line, and the A-line, and the quarterback. But I think at the end of the day, for me, my job was to make sure everybody understood the assignment. Everybody was, was, was had bought in. And, you know, I'm looking. I'm looking around is that, you know, okay, is this the reason why you miss an assignment because you try to get to the phone? Is this why you're not doing what you're supposed to? Because, you know, hey, I'm not going to, you know, go tell the coach, hey, coach, he out, he's staying out late. That's why I'm, I'm going to come to you and say, bro, mm -hmm. now you do realize Denver is a football town. What do you think you can do that Mike's not going to find out about? You coming in here, you smell like you just got out of vat of alcohol. Go get your.
ass in the shower because you reeking. Now we gonna go sit in this this this, this meeting room and and you gonna be smelling like that. Go, bro. Come on now. You got twenty weeks. All we ask for, give us four months. Can you give us four five months? Then after that, if you want to go on a three month bender, take off with it. But I think the thing is, you have to. I mean, like I said, I was I was more of a. Come on now. This is what we expect. I ain't gonna let you sleep in the meeting room. I'm not gonna let you do what to do. I see you slacking off at practice. I'm okay. I see. I couldn't just like follow my lead. Yeah, follow my lead. Watch the way I eat. Watch the way I practice. Watch the way I do certain things. But you know, sometimes you have to give guys a little nudge. But then that's but that's okay. That maybe that's not what KD is. And you can't make somebody something that they're not. But how do we know that? See, we that's what I'm saying. We all he sees is the games. All we see is the games. Everybody doesn't. Everybody's not Draymond Green when the cameras on, right? Some people, some leaders, their brands is kind of big where they can't go out there and cuss somebody out, right? When Jordan wanted to cuss somebody out, what he do? Yeah, but I think the thing is not on the court. Now I'm saying, I'm saying in the locker room at practice, shoot around where y'all in. The, you know, do y'all call team meetings? Say, I call, I call, I would call a meeting. You know, not many because at, at, at some point in time it starts to fall on deaf ears, Gil. So I needed to be, I needed to be like a a, a crisis situation before you like, okay, we need to have a discussion about what's really going on. How do how do we know that? We don't. That's what I'm saying. We don't know how many meetings they have. We don't know who's hanging out. We don't know if they have a film session at KD's house or Booker's house. We don't know. All we doing is just making up what we want to make up just because they're not winning. Oh, they solve it. Everybody solve the whole team solve it, Gil. This is it, what we know. They're soft. Who's? I don't see nobody bullying. Ain't, them. ain't nobody. Ain't, ain't nobody ever been able to keep anything a secret. That no. you see that videotape. That videotape got out of Draymond socked that kid and I didn't. It? Yeah. Now it, was that? A <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Ah, no, hell no. No, you not. You lead, lead to lead, lead to a whipping. But that's what we can challenge everybody's leadership if we want to. Gil, this is what I know. Let me, Gil, let me, let me be real with you, Gil. All the way live. And, and Chad, I think y'all agree. If we like you, we'll like your leadership style. If we don't, we won't. Yeah, because I don't give a damn how many championships you won. You're not going to punch me to get me to do my job. Now my job, I got a different job. My job was to block and catch passes. Now my job is to whip your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new job. So I got three jobs now. Now I got to work overtime. No, 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 no. Look, you I, new- I get it. <laughs> you know, I get it. Um, And I wasn't, you know, like I said, I had to, you know, wait my turn. You know, you come in. I was a seventh round draft pick. I just buy, the, I buy my time. And then as I started to get more and more and more plays, I understood that, you know, you know, coaches were like, hey, more is expected of me as far as, you know, being talkative, uh, you know, my play warrant that I could say some things that probably early in my career I couldn't say. But I, I don't believe it. I don't believe in that, that, that punching people to get people to do that. I, 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 don't, I don't get, you know, people like, if you think Michael punching Steve Kerr in his eye was the reason Steve knocked that shot down, you out your damn mind. Listen, I can tell you this. You punch me, you ain't getting the ball. And so, hey, if y'all can hit, hey, you can do whatever you want to do. You hit me, you're not getting the ball. Only way you get the ball is by open court. I will not, I don't give a shit what he called. You're right. needing the ball from me. And I proved those points plenty of times. Yeah. I, like you said, there, there are different ways to lead and you have to understand who you're trying to talk to because everybody, you can't talk to everybody the same way. Some guys you can be stern with. Some guys you can be facetious with. Some guys you be like, damn, bro, my my grandma could have caught that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that damn, son, you out here like a blind dog in a meat house. You know, you saying things and you're like, well, bro, what, what, what you do last night? So, you know, you, 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 try to, you try to lead guys in a way that they understand that because I'm trying to get a guy to do more than he thought he could. Mm-hmm. That, at the end of the day, that's, that's really what I'm trying to do. I ain't look. I ain't trying to look. I'm not your pastor. I'm not your guidance counselor. I'm not your site. I'm just trying to get you to do more than you think you can. And and whatever ways I need to do that without you know, I'm not gonna b- belittle you. I'm not gonna mofo you because at the end of the day, we all men. Mm-hmm. Don't lose sight of that now. now. Don't ever, don't ever, ever lose sight of that. You might have more tenure than me. You might make more money than me. But guess how I walked in here as a 22 year old man. Mm-hmm. Guess how I'm gonna walk out of here. As a 30-year-old man. Now, if I have to take a cut or you have to take a cut to see, it is what it is. But I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be respectful of you 
I want you to be respectful of me because at the end of the day, it's all about respect. Gilbert don't like those shots that Barkley's been throwing at KD and the Suns for a while now. I don't know if KD and Charles, they got some type of beef going on. He's letting it be known how he feels about KD and the Suns as far as them being mentally weak and soft. The Suns lineup has been crazy. One minute, you'll have Bradley Bill in. Then Booker will be out. Next, Booker's in and Beal's out. KD's been the only consistent player that's been playing throughout the whole entire season. They've never had a streak to where they play 20, 30, 40 games with their big three and Bill, Booker, and KD. So the record's definitely showing it. They're going to have to get it together for the playoffs because it's going to be interesting. A lot of teams have gotten better since last season. So if the Suns want to have a chance to compete and go far in the playoffs, they're definitely going to have to have their big three healthy. But Gilbert Arenas, man, he really called out Barkley. He wants to know, like, what have you done on your teams that you were on? Were you the leader? And he's really standing on business as well to where stop calling out KD. We can point the finger at you as well to when you played for the Suns and the other teams during Barkley's career. So, again, I hear what Charles Barkley is saying. The Suns, they're kind of a disappointment, in my opinion, because the health of the team hasn't been there. And you can't just walk into the playoffs, especially in a dominant conference like the Western conference and try to get a round or two you can be out in the first round or the play-in so you definitely don't want to take chances so hopefully the Suns they can put it together because they're definitely a team that if healthy should be able to compete at a high level in the Western Conference but I hear what Charles Barkley is saying like this team is mentally weak I don't know who's leading the team I don't know if it's Booker Katie or Bill but there has to be someone of that elite trio that's really pushing the team forward we already know KD he just want to ball out and who that's been the narrative and he's kind of really standing on that narrative like you're not going to hear me yell and berate my teammates on live TV but maybe he does stuff behind the scenes to really push the team forward no one has really questioned KD as a teammate so he's doing something right he's been in the league for a long time arguably one of the best scorers in NBA history but Charles Barkley he may want to see something out of KD to where like yell at them more but again you can't force someone to be that vocal leader he may lead by example Booker, he's probably the one that's leading the troops right now. He has that edge. He has that dog. Bill, maybe. He can probably bring some people together, but again, the Suns, they have all the talent in the world to really make an impact in the Western Conference playoffs, but you got to get there first. I don't see them jumping the Pelicans for the sixth seed, but you never know. They just got to win out and hopefully the Pelicans can lose out. But if the Suns do make the playoffs and get that seventh seed, they can compete against the Timberwolves. You're going against a young team like Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns, he's trying to recover from that injury. He's been out for a while now. He's able to do five on five, so they're trying to ramp him up. But as far as the Suns playing the Timberwolves, again, it can go either way just because the health of Towns, we don't know how he's going to look. You can't just take a couple months off and then just ramp back up in the first round versus that big three with the sun. So who knows, man, maybe it's a blessing in disguise if they get that seven seed. If I'm the Suns, if you get that seven seed, hope to play the Timberwolves or the Thunder, two young teams, maybe the Thunder, but you got SGA that's playing at an MVP level. I'm sure he'll be back healthy, ready to go for the first round. So it's not looking good for the Suns either way. Their best bet, try to get out that plan. But if they are the seven seed, hope for the Timberwolves or the OKC Thunder. You don't want to play the Nuggets in the first round. We've seen what happened last playoff versus the Nuggets. I believe they lost in six games, but the Nuggets, they're even better. Jamal Murray's back. So it's going to be a tough road either way for the Phoenix Suns during this playoff run. Either they make the playoffs and they got to play one of those top three teams. But again, Charles Barkley, he's going to continue to stand on business. The Suns, they got to stand on business and make a huge impact this upcoming playoffs. Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about Charles Barkley comments on the Phoenix Suns? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.